Hi guys, it is Christy K and I am coming to you with my top 10 drugstore items. Now, to be like completely honest, I mean, it's not only 10 products, they're 10 different categories. I couldn't narrow it down to 10. And then when I started making this video and I came up with the idea of top 10, I was like, I realized that I left stuff out, but we're just gonna focus on this right now, right? We're gonna focus on these items from the drugstore that will have you right like drugstore quality has improved like majorly like right now i'm wearing drugstore foundation and i feel like it's popping it can compete with my other ones like i've no no no, no. it is 8 12 p.m on this drugstore foundation that i have been wearing since 10 o'clock this morning so i've gotten like 10 hour wear and i'm still popping on this drugstore the only thing that i did was i just applied a little bit of powder because I was getting a little shiny, but it is luminous foundation. Is this one right here, the L'Oreal 24 hour infallible and hello, the drugstore makes 24 hour foundation. So like, that's another reason why I mess with drugstore. So we are going to start with our first category, which is eyeliners, okay? So L'Oreal infallible eyeliner. <laughs> oh wow, I almost dropped that <laughs> when it hit the floor to broke. This is 24 hour eyeliner and it lasts. You can put it in your waterline, you can use it to wing, you can use it to make a smoky eye, bomb.com. Another bomb.com, don't judge me by this color. I have a black one somewhere. This elf liner is $3, but this liner is bomb and it lasts really freaking long. It's way cheaper than this. Like if I'm in need of a black gel eyeliner, I'm gonna go for elf, $3, why not? And then for eye pencils, this is LA Girl. I feel like these never cost more than $3. Do you see how run down this is? This is almost like a sample size because I genuinely love this and I keep them. They come in so many colors that they're freaking awesome. And then this one right here is the L'Oreal. This is the extra intense liquid eyeliner and it's smoky. It comes with a little tip for you to smoke out your eyeliner. Super bomb. So yeah, I just gave you like gel eyeliners and then the kind like this because there's different kind of eyeliner and everybody only use a gel some people use a gel or pencil so i wanted to give you options that's what this video is about options the next category is blush okay so city color is the bomb this is their b matte blushes their blushes are bomb their blush palettes are everything like this one right here i love it so much some color blackberry which i happen to be wearing today like i dropped it and i was like oh we gonna fix that because this is bay right here like they have the prettiest matte blushes now if you want a little luminosity in your blush this is milani and their baked blushes are freaking everything i want to say like luminoso is probably the most popular one within their brushes blushes but they are bomb.com moving on to highlighters city color their bronzers are freaking amazing this is a highlight trio. It's beat up because it gets <laughs> some use. Don't judge me, it's all beat up. But it's because it's the bomb.com, right? So these are the swatches right here. This is more of the golden palette for my tones. They make like a palette like this, a golden one. And then also like a standard highlight trio like this, which is more of the, the standard tones, but it's a little too fair for me, but I do mess with that one right there. That one is pretty good too. Um, I usually wet these. I usually spray my brush to wet them to get the most out of the pigment, which is why that's a little gross. Don't judge me. For BH Cosmetics, um, Carly Bybel, this is her second palette right here, but in her first palette, she did the dang thing, okay? With these palettes, so it's her palette, but the highlighters are the center of attention right here. Like, this is the whole palette, but the highlighters are life, so. Let me give you a swatch. Um, she added two new highlighters, and she also um, made them bigger. I think these two were older shades, but she just made them bigger so that you can get the most out of your money with these. So let me get my swatches swatch on. Boom. The pigment and the intensity on these are the bomb. And the two gold shades right here are like everything like I keep this palette in my kit because literally between like that with the eyes and the highlighter shades like the intensity the glow that I am able to give my clients because I can compliment literally everybody's skin tone is amazing we're gonna come back to that in a little bit 
this category we're gonna call powder um because remember i only had 10 i'm trying to squeeze everything in there so for my bronzer my favorite one is the nyx mac bronzer hit pan i really use these things um this one is bomb it's really matte it's not shimmery it's the right tone this is in deep tan now for my powder i love the l'oreal infallible powders this one i bought a little bit too dark on accident so you can use this as a powder but for me sometimes during the winter time when i'm a little um lighter i use this as a bronzer just to warm my face up but this maybelline new york setting powder right here in medium is bomb i use this and this is actually comparable to the laura mercier setting powder I have shade 2 because it's a little bit deeper so that I can use it all over my face. I tell you, it sets really well and it gives like no flashbacks. So I am a fan of that. For the primers, my favorite primers are the NYX Angel Veil, which this is a competitor of the um, Hourglass Mineral Veil and way cheaper. And my Maybelline Master Prime Blur in Smooth. This one's a little bit more pricey. I think this one's only $10, but these are bae. Like before I start getting fancy, there's the Smashbox, the Hourglasses, the Laura Gellers. I was on these right here. And for my lipsticks, I'm gonna say my favorite lippies from the drugstore really are like ColourPop for a few reasons. I like ColourPop because when they first started, everything was $5. The lippies are $6. So this is a full size lippy, it's $6. But then during a holiday, they make like little mini lippies. And so you can get cute sets and get like a whole bunch of lippies for a little bit of nothing. And I don't know, I just like that. They're cute. You can take them. You can travel. You can get more bang for your buck. I am all about beauty on a budget and saving some money. And they wear, re they wear really well. I am a fan of the formula. The formula has improved since they first came out, but ColourPop is always working to improve something. Like I feel like when they find out something isn't working good, they get in the lab and they reformulate it and they give us some new new. So this is my NYX Liquid Suede. I absolutely love the finish of these. I love the colors. This is my favorite one right here. This is in the shade. Oh my goodness. I don't know if you can hear that. That's not even in my house. It's next door neighbors are lit right now it's in the color soft spoken that describes me i'm very soft spoken <laughs> um this is like one of my favorite lippies and i freaking adore these and the price is good too you can get it at the drugstore this you gotta order but you can just walk right into your cvs your your rite aids your ultas and get your hands on that it's easily accessible and then for concealers, I got a few. My first favorite drugstore concealer is LA Girl. And I call it drugstore because you can get it at your beauty supply. Anything beauty supply to me falls into the drugstore category. Um, $3. I used to have a lot of them, but my family and friends take my stuff. And I had like a whole highlight and contour situation. Like basically with LA Girl, you can get your highlight and a contour. And you can get your highlight contour situation set for six dollars somebody took my highlight then i only had a contour now the contour is missing so post a picture so this is what it looks like go get you one um maybelline master conceal um i was a huge fan of this master collection anytime they put master on it like it was bomb so this concealer was everything i would use this to shape my my um eyebrows and also to highlight and contour Maybelline Fit Me. I'm just a sucker for this collection. The Fit Me collection like was probably my favorite collection before the Master Collection came along. And I freaking love this highlighter. It's super inexpensive. And then this is the L'Oreal Magic Lumi. Like I just use these primarily when I'm ready to take my highlight to the next level and have it blinging. So foundations told you the fit me the um maybelline fit me is bay my biggest thing with this is it does not have a pump and that drives me crazy i don't like to really pour out my foundation so what i do is i get a little um sephora sells these and i get them and i fill them up and i make my own and i just pump it right on out um and this gives like 
the best matte finish and it's poreless it does exactly what it says and it's super super inexpensive i know it's under ten dollars i'm gonna call it six but don't quote me on that but it's super inexpensive this milani conceal and perfect i freaking love this foundation um i use the shane tat tan my only gripe with them is i wish that they had a little bit more colors like for me i can't find my perfect shade i usually mix this with my l'oreal true match lumi to get my perfect shade because it's a little too dark and it gives me like the finish that i want but this is bomb it's full coverage if you don't want to wear a concealer you can cover your under eyes everything like just get everything done and it's 10 bucks like so my favorite lip liners nyx hands down probably has my favorite lip liners they have so many colors they're inexpensive and they're only three dollars like hot cocoa and mauve i think are my favorites and then i'm gonna go back to ColourPop. i'm gonna run it back see how little this is and you see how much i love this like if i broke it because i i was being being rough with it I love it and that's another thing that I love about ColourPop is like my favorite influencers, um, bloggers, they get their own lines with ColourPop. They get them their own collection. Like this was an Ellery, that's why I held on to this because I really, really love the shade. I'm actually wearing it today as my liner. And I know I can't get another one because um, I think her collection is gone. Yeah, her collection is gone, but yeah, bomb. I love that they support the people who support them. So that's dope. I have three eyebrow products from the drugstore two of them i'm completely out of i don't keep my empties i just toss them but i'm gonna tell you one is going to be the one is the nyx brow pencil this pencil right here is literally everything it super can compete with the anastasia beverly hills brow is and the other one is the bh cosmetics one that one is everything too and it's only five dollars and it can compete with anastasia and both of those look just like them this one right here is um the maybelline brow definer which is what i used to use between both of those you know a little twist up situation my only gripe with this was that they put a comb at the end of it instead of a spoolie and it's like maybelline for real like who really has thick brows that you can comb through like that like i get where they were going and I wish that they would update that. Like Maybelline, come on, just just replace that with a spoolie, like it will work. And for my last category, the tenth and final category is going to be eyeshadows. And for eyeshadows, I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna throw it back to BH Cosmetics because they freaking do their thing. Oh, too, but I, don't, I couldn't find any of their shadows when I was looking to do this video. But again, back to these, all bomb, super pigmented actually these are the eyeshadows that i'm wearing right now are these bh cosmetics ones and again i love about them they're affordable and now wait i forgot they're not online anymore um ulta carries them yep you can get this in ulta so yep they do fall in drugstore these shadows are super pigmented then again this is another collaboration they do collaborations with people who buy their stuff they support those who support them i think that that is super dope and with that said, you guys, that is it for my top 10 drugstore products that you need to have in your life. I feel like if you watch this video, you should find a product or two that you don't have that you need to add to your collection. If you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like this, give me a thumbs up. Um, if you're not subscribed already and you want to see more videos from me, hit the subscribe button and also hit the bell if you want to get all of my videos because other than that I think it alerts you occasionally when I post something but generally I post once or twice a week at least once a week so if you want some more Chrissy K hit that bell and hit the subscribe button thank you guys so much for watching I appreciate you guys so much and I will see you guys in my next video Mwah.